Ooh. All right, hello everybody. I'm back, my camera died. I finally made it here and we now can commence this beautiful video. I wanted to put together a video for you guys that would show you how to style some of the same pieces, but in different ways, because that's the one thing that I find I used to struggle with quite a bit. Anyways, so I wanted to show you guys um, how to style some of the same pieces because yet yeah, I find it really hard sometimes to mix and match some of the same pieces without making it feel repetitive. Um, but truth of the matter is it's probably always going to feel a little repetitive because you're reaching for the same piece but you can really change up the types of vibes you give off with them so i've got a crew neck that we're going to start off with i started with my heather light gray um i love light gray crew necks just because they go with everything uh, especially if you're like the tones in your closet are very muted like i have lots of white black brown beige like lots of those like kind of cool tones in my wardrobe so the gray is really easy so then that way at least i can just like pair it with any outfit um and then i also have a black blazer just because i figured a black blazer is something that all of us probably have and if not get on it sister a black blazer is such a good staple just like a little oversized uh mwah. um but yeah okay anyway before i dive into this video um i just want to say thank you guys so much so if you guys do not know we are over a thousand subscribers Woo! um i think we're at like 1200 or 1300 now um, but yeah it's really exciting it's crazy i've met so many of you guys in store um and i've had like fun little conversations with quite a few of you so it's been really nice to get to know each and every one of you um and yeah before we start the video i also wanted to give a quick shout out uh to a brand that I am actually gonna be working with in this video, and it's a brand that I am loving as of recently. Um, if you guys have not heard of Rellery, they are a um, jewelry company, specializes in high quality jewelry. So all the jewelry that I have is 18 karat gold, um, but they just don't put the crazy markup on their pieces, uh, which is really, really nice. I am someone who's quite particular about the jewelry that I pick. I'm very simple just because again, with all the outfits that I have, I want it to be very versatile. Um, and I also don't want a lot. I don't need a lot. I don't want a billion pieces. I'm not willing to spend the money on a million pieces. So I just want a couple pieces that really can um, transfer from each and every outfit. But yeah, I'm wearing a couple of them here. I ended up ordering four pieces with them. Uh, these are one of them. One of the things I love about like little simple dangly earrings, first of all, you've got a pearl at the end and like this nice gold bar. Um, and yeah, they're just really simple. Sometimes an outfit like a sweatsuit, for example, um, having gold jewelry just really dresses up that outfit. Like that's why I'm obsessed with gold jewelry because anytime I'm wearing something that is so basic, uh, it just really elevates it and makes it look cooler. Uh, so I ended up getting that. I got this really lovely gold chain, which I really needed. I was looking for a new gold chain, but it was really hard to figure out what type of like width you're wanting to go with, which this one's nice because it's not too thick, not too thin. It's perfect for layering. Uh, and it was exactly what I needed. So either way, you'll see a couple different pieces in the video up ahead. Um, one thing I will say, these wear really, really well. That was one concern. Anytime I order jewelry, I'm like, okay, if I'm spending a couple hundred bucks here, um, I want to make sure that the jewelry can withstand like my everyday life. I'm going to bang up against things. I'm going to wear it. I'm probably going to tug it, especially necklace. It's just, it's very, very good quality. It's wearing really well and I'm loving it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. I'm going to link everything that I'm wearing below. I'm going to link all the Rellery pieces. I'm going to link all of the clothes that I tried on. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know below. If you guys have any other suggestions of what you would possibly pair these outfits with, let a sister know because I am always down to look at different combinations. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy this video. Um, hopefully you get some tips and tricks out of it. All right. So my first outfit, actually, this is one of my favorites because it's so comfy. So for the first outfit, I'm wearing a Sunday Best cropped collared shirt. I can't remember what it's called. I'm trying to find the shirt. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna move on. I'm, I may not be able to find this at the moment, but I will definitely link it below. Um, it's one of my favorites. It literally was just like a random one I stumbled across because it got returned to store. I 
really like the collared shirts. I've been obsessed with them because they're great for layering. But yeah, I love the fact that this one's cropped. It's great with high-waisted pants. So I actually paired them with the pros pants, uh, which are these nice like loose wide leg pants uh, that are super high rise. So they're a really good pair with how cropped this shirt is. Um, and then typically what I do whenever I'm trying to like figure out what to do with my crew neck, I usually wrap them around myself. And if you do a tie around yourself, it gives you this really cute kind of preppy look to the outfit. Um, and then I paired it with my Zara chunky boots, baby, because a chunky boot just really, I don't know, punks it up, makes it a little bit more edgy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a fun little mix between like something that's a little bit edgy while being kind of preppy at the same time. Um, you can also wrap over your shoulders. I typically like to wrap over my shoulder and have it hang over my one shoulder just cause it's a little bit more so sorry about that. Um, I typically like to take my sweater sometimes and like wrap it around the front of me and then I'll yeah let it go off my one shoulder um, just because it's a little bit more comfortable for your movement. Looks really cute having your little shoulder peek over. Um, but yeah, cute, really preppy, very in right now. Another really fun way to style this is you can swap out the crew neck and then do a blazer over top. So this is gonna give you obviously a lot more of like a more like business, more formal look to it, but you can either pair it with boots, you can pair it with heels if you want to have like kind of this oversized, like chic kind of suited look. Um, I would do it with like a high like sock booty, uh, either with like a pointed or a square toe. Yeah, I paired them with my boots. I love it. It's super, super comfortable. I love the all black vibes with that just like bright white top contrasting with it. Okay, so on to outfit number two. Um, Okay, so I am wearing the Luxar bodysuit and this is by far one of my favorite bodysuits, you guys. Aritzia made it quite small because I literally am wearing two sizes bigger than what I normally would wear. Um, but yeah, it is just like, if you have a simple bodysuit, pair it with a nice pair of jeans, tie that crew neck around and it just makes it so much more casual. But yeah, it actually just like really, it dresses it down, but it makes it really cute. And you also have a sweater if it gets cold because I'm always cold. Another really nice way to pair this, I just dressed them down with a pair of runners. You can also switch it up and do heels instead. But yeah, that's that, that's a crew neck. So another way to style this if you are wanting to dress it up a little bit more is the black blazer. Um, you can just see how much the black blazer really swaps the look. It makes it a little bit more elegant, a little bit more formal. This one, I would probably pair with a heel more times than not, or even like my combat boots, like my chunky boots. Yeah, I just, I love how it looks with a chunky boot in the winter time. Plus it's nice because in that way you don't really have to worry about your jeans getting dirty in the winter, just cause the boot gives you a lot of clearance. So the next outfit, oh my gosh, I wear this thing all the time. The Divinity Jumpsuit Peeps. Um, it is my favorite if I'm bloated. It is my favorite if I'm not. Um, I always tie a crew neck around if I wear it like this, just because it is, because it's a one piece, it just feels very revealing to wear just that. Um, so it's kind of nice because it breaks it up, covers you up a little bit more, um, but at the same time, you're not gonna be boiling to death. I wear this at work all the time just because when I'm running around, is that? Uh, but yeah, and then I just paired it with the little huggies just because I figured it was a little bit more dressed down. Um, and then my combat boots again, because I love my combat boots. I wear them every day and they're getting destroyed, but they were so inexpensive. Switching it up with the blazer makes it a lot more elevated. You just look cool, I feel. Love it with the blazer. And because it's kind of an all black outfit, I love the gold um, accessories just because the gold just really like zhuzhes it up, really elevates it. Can I say elevate anymore? That's the word of the day. Elevate. Elevate. This time around, I paired it with just like a dress shoe. Um, yeah, just to change up the look. I like two to three different pairs of shoes to kind of switch it up with. Really will help you change up your outfits. Um, but yeah, you obviously just have to be really strategic about what type of shoe you buy. So that's why I'm like, I really like the mix of like a runner, a combat boot, um, like a dress shoe, which this one's a chunky dress shoe. And then um, even a little heel. I'm not a huge heel girl, so I could honestly leave the heels out, but all up to you guys. The next outfit, wearing my Metallica shirt. So I just basically took a graphic tee. I'm wearing my Molinas, but you can wear any leather pants that you want. Um, and because I have my leather combat boots, I actually tucked in the Molinas to the boot. So then that way it actually made the pants look more like a combat 
I say combat, it's not combat. Look more like a cargo, so it's uh, more of a cargo shape. So it just changes the shape, makes the pant look completely different and makes it look like it's all one set. Um, and then I did not do my uh, crew neck over top, but you definitely can do like a crew neck, tie that around the graphic tee. I just did the slouch instead this time. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's just loungy, it's cute. This is definitely an outfit I just go and run errands in because it's comfortable. Um, but yeah, anyways. So moving on here, I'm changing it up just a little bit for the last one. What I did is obviously I took the blazer, tossed that over top, and then I untucked my pants and switched the shoes. Um, so again, like I said, switch your shoes, peeps. Um, switching the shoes just completely changes up the look because it brings the pant back to that like wide leg um, kind of look. Uh, and then yeah, just adding a blazer obviously just elevates it. I normally will tuck my shirt down the side just because the shirt is literally like a dress on me. Um, so yeah, just to cinch it a little bit to give less of a like unkept vibe, I yeah, tucked it. But yeah, one of my favorite outfits, super comfy, really sleek. Um, if I had to describe my style at this point, definitely becoming kind of, I don't know, like more boyish, men's inspired, oversized, comfortable. I just wanna have stuff that's like easy, easy to work in, easy to bend in, easy to wear every day. But yeah. Either way, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I hope you found these tips helpful. I hope you found um, the, seeing the different styles and seeing them like mixed and matched helpful. Um, Cause yeah, I know how hard it is and how much you can struggle when you're like, eh, does this look good? Especially when you're looking at yourself because I feel like you have to deal with more of your self-esteem when you're looking at yourself versus when you're looking at someone else, um, but yeah. Either way, I hope you guys try it. If you try it and you post it, tag me in it because I'd love to see these outfits and I'd also love to recreate some of your outfits if you've changed them up in any way. Um, yeah, so it's just very inspiring. But either way, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember to like and subscribe and then we will see you guys next week.